Hey, this is Off the Cuff, and I'm Steve from TorahFamily.org. Today we want to talk about a brief section of Scripture where Yeshua gives a personal Bible study with a couple of unsuspecting men. I mean, can you imagine having a Bible study just you and Yeshua? I mean, think about this. Okay, maybe you and a couple friends. But, but even still, having a Bible study with Yeshua himself, where he just unloads and unlocks everything right before your eyes. Can you imagine that? Well, that's what these two guys had. Now, let's look at what these men thought about that Bible study they had with Yeshua. Luke chapter 24, they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? I once had someone say to me, so, you're following the law now. Well, I think we should put our focus on reaching the lost for Jesus. <laughs> you know, I thought that was kind of interesting because ever since I've come to start growing in the whole truth, I mean the whole Bible that is, all of it from Genesis to Revelation, believing that it's all true, ever since that time, I've never been more alive and excited in my faith resulting in me wanting to even share more than ever. I mean, seriously, that has ever, ever since that's happened, it's like that has just sparked a fire within me like never before. I mean, it's not that I was like bored before or not that I was not excited about this truth before. But ever since that moment of realizing that it was all true, <laughs> I've never been more excited about sharing the truth, all of it, in all my life. In fact, Luke 24, verse 32, means more to me now than ever before. I can honestly say that I had that same experience of everything just clicking all at once, <laughs> like a light bulb truly popping on in my head and making my heart just burn with joy and excitement like never before. <laughs> You know, anyone who has come to the understanding that the whole word is still true today knows exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, think about this just for a moment. How many truly get excited about reading the Old Testament? I mean, really, think about this just for a moment. In all of your time in being a believer, how many ever got excited about reading the Old Testament? You know what I'm saying? I mean, normally, people today mainly just read the New Testament. Oh, sure, they'll read the Old here and there. But for the most part, people just read the New Testament because they'll say the Old Testament is boring or, or just doesn't make any sense or, well, it's not relevant today. You know, you name it, whatever the excuse could be. For whatever reason, most of us just didn't get and get just didn't get into the Old Testament. Yet these two individuals found in Luke 24 verse 32 had a personal Bible study with our Savior as they walked along the road. It was a Bible study that consisted only of the Old Testament. Think about this for a second folks. It only consisted of the Old Testament. <laughs> Remember the New Testament, well, it wasn't written yet. They said their hearts were on fire because of hearing the Old Testament explained by Yeshua. He expounded on it. He explained it all out. <laughs> it all came together, and it all made sense. The Old Testament, that's all he gave them. And their hearts were like, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they were connecting all the dots like never before because Yeshua connected it for them. When the Lord opens the scriptures of the Old Testament for you, like he did for those two men, <laughs> your heart will burn with a zeal just the same. Just the same. Because that's when you see all the dots connecting like never before. You know, when we read things in the New Testament, and we'll go, wow, that's, that's cool. But yet, when you see how they connect and mesh perfectly together with the Old Testament, 
there's just a joy. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just a, what, joy unspeakable and full of glory, if you will, because you see it all there. You see how it all fits together. I don't know, but I just get excited when I see it. You know, and you'll see how the feast days are still a shadow of the things to come. I mean, they weren't something just for back then. They're still true for today. They're Yahweh's appointed times today, just as they were for them back then. You'll see how the parable of the prodigal son is all about the lost tribes of Israel the northern kingdom, who never came back, unlike the southern kingdom. Yet, just like in the parable, many today are coming back to the ways of Yahweh, just as it says in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 30. When you are in distress and all these things have happened to you, then in latter days you will return to Yahweh your God and obey him. So many things will come to life in the scriptures when you see just how they're all connected together. I mean, how can we imagine that we can understand the back of the book without grasping the front of it? Just like with a teacher, you know, they start their students at the beginning of the textbook instead of jumping to the last half. Doesn't it only make sense that we should do the same with the scriptures? Doesn't it only make sense that we'll never truly understand the back of the book until we first begin grasping and understanding the front of it? I encourage you today, ask the Father, ask him today to open the scriptures for you like he did for those two men walking on the road to Emmaus, to get an understanding like never before of the old Testament, to, to ask him to make that Old Testament come alive, to make your hearts burn within when you read the Old Testament, when you understand that it all gels together. You know, when he does, your hearts truly will burn like never before as you read the whole Word of God and you see it come alive right before your very eyes. Please, take some time. And I mean, seriously, take some time today and ask the Father to make that Old Testament come alive, just like he did those two guys. Because when he does, man, your hearts are going to burn <laughs> and you're going to get excited. You know, just like I was told, you know, well, why would you want to read, you know, the Old Testament and follow the law? Because, you know, you, you should just be following and sharing about Jesus. All I can say for me, that ever since I've started pursuing the law, man, I've been more excited about the scriptures, more excited about my relationship with him more than ever before. And I pray, I pray that you seriously consider looking into this pray that he sets your heart afire like he did with theirs. <laughs> well, think about it. Pray about it. But more than anything, be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Until next time, Shalom.